Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's D-Boss here. This album and preach event is titled Young Philly is Finished. Several people have sent me this video to react to. Um, apparently, he's on some Diddy-ish. So we're going to get the details of what happened with him. Um, I, I can't say that this surprises me, to be honest. He's always come across like a pussy thirsty, <laughs> for lack of a less raunchy word. Um, so I, I can't say that I'm shocked by this news. Uh, but, but yeah, we're, we're going to see exactly what took place. Uh, and so many people were like, oh, D reacts to this. You're going to be so disappointed. You're going to be so upset. Cause I've, I've reacted to him several times before and I have praised him and said, I liked him and you know thought he was funny, said many nice things about him. Um, but I don't know this man. Okay. I think a lot of y'all don't believe me for, for whatever reason. When I say, I don't give a fuck about any of these people. I don't care what happens to him, <laughs> especially since he on some bullshit. He can burn anybody that y'all think I love so much from J. Cole to Beyonce, Kendrick, whoever. They can all burn. If they on some bullshit, burn, okay? <laughs> I have zero emotional attachment to any of these people. Whatever bullshit they get caught doing and they're penalized for it, I'm going to be like, yes, get them, throw them under the jail, and I'm going to sleep like a baby that night. I, I don't care about these people. They can burn. <laughs> I feel like that Elmo mean burn. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not disappointed at all. I don't, I don't know this man. So whatever happens to him, it, it needs to happen because if he's on some bullshit, he deserves to uh, be penalized for it, so. There's that. Uh, anyway, we're gonna see what happened exactly though. Let's watch. And your friends are not coming to your defense when nobody around you is? Silence. Uh, silence has you. The people you all came up with, some of them even going behind closed doors to say, yo, listen, stay away from this one. He might have really done it. Oh, that doesn't doing speak that? well about you. No. It doesn't speak well about your relationships with people, and it doesn't speak mm -hmm. well about how you're perceived by all the people around you. Young Philly's getting canceled. Popular musician and YouTuber from what the UK, happened? known as Young Philly, has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual oh, allegations serious. following an incident in Perth. That's right, Lara, and it's serious. He's facing four counts of penetration without consent, three oh, counts you of graping altercation, niggas. bodily harm, and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation. Detectives say the 20 year old man said... Correct. I don't think he's a Jedi. No, I don't think he's just here like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this man's not Darth Sidious. I, I think if she couldn't breathe, it's because he was choking her. Yeah. Really a woman in her 20s in his Perth hotel room after he performed an event in Hillary's on Saturday, September 28. All right, Perform so his uh, bail conditions are pretty strict. He's going to be Comedy stuck standard? over there till December. Uh, he's not allowed to leave Western Australia until he's stood trial. Apparently, the police officers have strong CCTV evidence mm. for why they justified themselves making the extradition and the arrest, as well as photos and videos of the young girl's injuries uh, to her body and to her neck. Oh. So, start off at the beginning. These are allegations. They have been proven true. If you don't know who Young Philly is, Young Philly is a very popular content creator and a semi-popular music artist. Uh, he's currently on tour right now, so he's performing. He does his songs in different places. You might know him from Beta Squad, the work he's done with Chunks, and he's been on BBC, he's done a whole bunch of television shows. Let okay. me just say, his life's pretty much over. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, all of his TV contracts, all the commercials, all the brand deals, which are he makes more, most of his oh, money, that's drop. it's over. Especially in a place like the UK, where they don't play with allegations like mm -hmm. that. For someone like him, who is so mainstream and relying on that to make 90% of his money, that's just pretty much done. Young Philly has a long history of being weird line. around women, apparently. So we're going to examine some of that, take a look at it towards the end. Oh. Uh, I personally know quite a lot of creators who've either worked with him, worked with him consistently, or know a lot about him through being in the UK scene. And uh, most of them, uh, all of them have negative things to say about him. Oh, um, really? Yeah. What, what I know is that from all the people I know who have interacted with him, uh, they all say a lot of the similar things. He's very aggressive with ladies. Uh, mm -hmm. And they all say he's that. incredibly arrogant and very, like, pompous when the cameras are off. And he's just very mean towards people. Gotcha. And gotcha. these are people I respect very well. These are people who work with him consistently. So a lot of the people around you are all saying, I'm not surprised. Yes. They're, like, they're, they're like, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Yeah. Surprised. You know? Yeah, that, that literally wraps. I mean, obviously, I don't know this man, but that, that literally describes how I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I, I'm surprised with the details. Like what you choking people and all like that. That's a lot. I'm just surprised about the details specifically. But as far as him being capable of doing something like this, I'm not surprised. Surprised <laughs> if that makes sense. And him even saying that he's aggressive with women. Like I can see that because he does have like an ag- an aggressive personality already. Um, and then I've watched like him on these like little dating shows and stuff and how he interacts with the women so i'm not surprised but i'm a little surprised by just the details in general if that makes sense i want to say this about chunk it's not because anybody shit, if anybody like, chunk, oh, uh yeah. choking mm-hmm. anybody <laughs> young philly doing the silly with his willy moving like young diddy but no, they just made a good point too. Um, if I heard that Chunks did any of this, I would be a little bit more surprised. Um, and I, I, I'm just saying a little bit because I don't know any of these people. Let's be clear, I don't put nothing past nobody because people are weirdos, <laughs> and some people do a very good job at hiding that they're weirdos. Other people don't, you know. And I feel like Philly is kind of one of those people who don't do the best job hiding who he is but uh some people are really skilled at it so if it came out that chunks did something like this i would be a little surprised like oh he don't he don't seem that he don't seem like he would do something like that but i wouldn't be crazy surprised because again a lot of these people are weird the one that was most telling to me was that four months ago there was a post talking about how he is on fit with fans on tour and in the post, a lot of people were leaving comments, and I didn't care for most what of them. Music there was one of them that was like interesting. I mean, he some of these are just arrogant. So, like he goes here, and like someone says, "Yes, he tried to make me and my friends guess how much money he makes yearly." And when we said we had boyfriends, he called us dead things, anyways. <laughs> so it was one of them ones where. <laughs> but here's the one that really stood out to me: the way he was acting in Australia was outrageous. And then someone else replies, "What happened?" And then the original poster says, "He bit my homegirl outside the club." We can't go based Now, mind you, this is four or five months ago before any of this kind of stuff surfaced. And over the years, you know, there's talk of him being involved with an underage person. There's a lot of little things like that. Oh, um, and overall, the vibe that he gives off as well as what people say about him is he's a bit of a, um, I don't know if sex pest is the right term, but the dude is a uh, sex pest. <laughs> Uh, sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody just be on it all the that? time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've heard that a few times. But that's I've never good. Heard that. Adam, what's the only time? Listen to the question, babe, yeah? So, there's no <laughs> other brothers or sisters. You're not too sick on her. Was it that weird to sniff someone's hair? During yeah, an interview? Yeah, it is. You know, it's just like, the, you know, the Diddy thing? That, like, there's a lot of things that we look back on. With Diddy. That with Diddy, really? was like, and now that we know everything that we know, we look back at it and we're like, no, it's been weird. But you know, when this happened, we probably would say like, "That's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a bit off, right?" <laughs> but when when we know what we know, it's like it is uh, I mean, great. part of his humorous thing was being like motion. a horny dog. That was that was part of his for some, that, that it was. I understand. Like, for some people, think that's funny. I always thought it was a bit cringe. That guy was ba- that, that's gonna bad. That was it. But him and the other guy, the, the Panero dude, they would just oh, often like be really too? horny, like sexually aggressive with mm-hmm. ladies. And I feel mm-hmm. that was what was funny for I the fans. But thing. the reality was, it was always a bit awkward if you're a well adjusted person. Mm, look at his mouth. What's that? Oof. Your one cheek was as well. Oof. Emily? Come a bit closer to me, Emily, I don't think. Um, and your name is? Gracie. Emily and Gracie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, great skin, man. A tortoise. Reflection. Now see, now that I, I want some riddles, you say, oh, you're a strong, independent man. All of them. These aren't that bad. Okay, Daniel. But the first one is hitting Yeah, workouts tick as well. Look after you. Oh, but he does seem thirsty. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, my God. It's part of his brain. He's just a, he's just a, bit, a, bit, a, bit, of a bit of a horn dog. I see what you're saying. Again, in a vacuum, I don't think this thing is necessarily a little gun. It is just, just a, a bit weird behavior, in my opinion. It is. Um, and to be fair, now this makes a lot of sense to me because I've seen like podcast clips of him talking about how he talks to women really badly. <laughs> and like for clarification, I don't like I really I didn't take anything to heart. I don't want anyone to be like, oh my god, what a horrible guy. So he, we're like exchanging DMs back and forth. I was twenty yeah. at this point. Yeah, I was twenty. 
Um, and then he like finds my YouTube videos and he's like sending me pictures of myself in my videos, like telling me he didn't like what I was wearing or like how I look, like how I looked in that video. And then like oh. I just I can't remember what I responded. That's weird. Not a crime. Fucking off. Is it a weird? Yo, I've been doing this. Not a crime. Not a crime. God damn. Okay, hold on. Let's keep going. Where's your basket? Like, I'm that girl, G. To a girl, you're like chatting, girl. You're... That's so weird. That's weirdo. Well, I responded, but I like tried to just be like, oh, haha. And then he sent me like the most brutal message, being like, look, you seem like a lovely girl, but like honestly, I just could not be any less interested in you. So I'm not gonna let you waste your time on this. And I was like, oh my. I you felt so humble. I never wanted to show my face ever again. I was with Lewis in the car, and I was like, what, what on earth? And I was like. Why respond to me that? Why keep the conversation going with me then? Like, if you were just going to say that. Okay, so basically, he he's acting like down. every people commenting on both. That you're like, well, why don't you just shut the fuck up? You're right, here, Charles, in the comments. He, he's acting like some people that are watching their videos and commenting. Yeah. But when I told you this guy's very entitled and arrogant, that and just that's goes to show what that people are saying. What these people <laughs> in the clips are saying. This is just a reflection of what happened. Right. Everything that I've been told before. I see videos of how he is behind the, like. Let's just say I had a girlfriend, mm -hmm. hypothetically, yeah? And I know one of her biggest insecurities was her weight, yeah? Mm -hmm. And she showed me a red dress and she showed me a blue dress, yeah? I'm not saying this is good how I am. I need to work on it. She showed me a red dress and a blue dress and I knew in the blue dress she looked a bit fat, but she really liked the red dress more. I would actually say to her, baby, look a bit fat in that blue dress, right? Because do you know what? Do you know why I would, what, what my trainer thought? I do believe it's wronger. But the only reason I'd say that is because I don't want her to now wear this one because she didn't hear her insecurity in that one. Do you get what I'm saying? What? Or maybe, maybe I just need to work on. You're, 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 doing, what, what, you're, what, you're doing way it, too much. To show someone's insecurity. You're doing way too much. But does any of this That's mean. That's your girlfriend? Did, uh, I just, there's oh, a bit of a meaning. A, a social retardation when I see this guy. And just the way he behaves, it's just like, what's wrong with you? It's just sometimes I see people, I'm like, are you maladjusted? And then it makes sense to me why you would choke somebody out and then beat them after a show, even though you got all the money, you have access to all women who would do it with you consensually. It makes sense to me why you would force yourself on somebody, because you're just like a socially weird yeah. person. It's like, you are entitled to the area. There's, like, there's a power thing. Yeah. There's a power thing there. Yeah. There's, a, there, there's definitely a way where he wants to have power over you where yeah. I need to tell you your insecurities. No, especially if it's, he didn't ask. Yeah, she, she asked which one is better. Well, answer the question, that one is better. You know what I mean? Not, which one is better? You're ugly and fat in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's just something off about it. To, to me, this is one of those situations where Obviously, this is going to be something that's going to be litigated in court. But as far as career goes, it's, it's done for. I think and, 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 and there's no situation I've ever been in with a girl where I was just leaving bruises all over her body and all over her neck. That's not normal, even in a consensual situation. So you just met for you to be out there. Either you're one of the biggest dumb fucks I've ever met in my life, and you just leave random marks on women you barely know. Okay, which is a crazy proposition, even in a consensual context. Mm -hmm. Or you're just really just doing evil shit behind closed doors. But to me, it's one of them ones where it's like, if you're gonna be fucking fans on tour, you're gonna be doing this stuff. Man, make sure everything is right, because all you people are just out here just taking chances in front of cameras. Odds are, very likely this guy did this stuff, and everybody I know who heard about this said he probably did it. So that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That when awesome. your friends are not coming to your defense, when nobody around you is silence. Uh -huh. The people you all came up with, some tea. of the people going behind closed doors and say, yo, listen, stay away from this one. He might have really done it. That just don't speak well about you. No. It doesn't speak well about your relationships with people, and it doesn't speak well about how you're perceived by all the people what around you. What do these chunks have to say? So, he probably not saying nothing. That's where I stand with this. People are blowing him up, I'm sure. And sleep with uh, these girls. Don't. <laughs> Fucking groupies doesn't have to be a horrible thing. It's just no, it's not. You just can't be entitled. If, if, if just because she a groupie, you know, if it comes to a point where she's in bed but she says no, then you just gotta let it go. That's a, There's gonna be another groupie at the next show. That's that's a good bar. That's yo. Did you but hear like me? But like I said, it's about power. But, 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 
there's going to be a groupie like, at the next event. I'm do what I want. Like me finding out these dudes are sex pests, liking fifteen year old girls' pictures and stuff like that. It's just crazy. One of them situations where I'm like, why? Wait, he was like so many we wouldn't got access to. But it's the entitlement. It's the same entitlement that makes them say all that foul shit to people. It's the same entitlement that makes them acting crazy to people. It's the same entitlement that makes them thinking you'd be a famous person just liking fifteen year old tweets. Or talking to seventeen year olds on a regular basis as a thirty year old. Or, you know what I mean? Just doing all this like gross shit where he's just sniffing with it's the same thing. Wait, somebody else sent me this video. Young Philly, a YouTuber and content creator, has been arrested on several charges and also has been extradited. This is breaking news. It has shocked a lot of people. And I'm going to give you a quick timeline of what is going on. Hey, guys, this is Rob Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. Saturday, 28th of September, Barrientos, his name, performs at a venue, a coastal suburb in Northern Australia, the Western Australia um, Sex Assault Squad alleged that he Why essayed a woman in his hotel him? after the event took place. On Sunday, the oh, 6th of October, he performs at the Havana R&B nightclub on the Gold Coast in Australia, over there doing his tour and his work. And he was known for his high charisma and energy performances that specific night, and he kept the party going. On Tuesday, the 8th of October, Young Philly was arrested in Brisbane. Now, this is to me what I find very intriguing, is that on the Wednesday, 9th of October, the day after, Young Philly is extradited, guys, to Perth, where he's charged with not one, but three separate counts. And we're gonna go through each one of these counts and what they mean. So the first count is assault occasionally in regards to bodily harm. So there was a vivid things on this woman or multiple women's bodies that was simply irrefutable that they had to be arrested. Mm -hmm. And there were four counts of, you know, sexual penetration without consent. Now, of course, that is simply the R word. He's been accused of four of those counts, either with the same or with separate different individuals, which is a very shocking charge that he's facing. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the worst one. And one count of impeding a person's normal breathing rate by applying a significant pressure to their neck. So this was something that he was doing without their consent, putting his hands around their neck to the point where she wasn't able to breathe, to the point where she probably would have wanted to pass out, which is what men have done to women. Thursday, the 10th of October, the Western Australian police have, re um, have created this um, following statement um, today. West Australia Police Sex Assault Squad detectives will allege that on Saturday 28th of September, the man essayed a woman in her 20s in, a, in his Perth hotel room after he had performed at a venue in Hillary's. Barry Antos appears before Perth Magistrate's Court. He wore a grey jumper and spoke only to acknowledge his name and the charges against him. He was represented by Seamus Rafferty SC, who successfully argued for bail. A number of people who described themselves as fans of him were reportedly sat in the public gallery when he was being arrested. It is believed. Now, a video of him has come out being arrested in cuffs. I want to make it very clear that for this man to be extradited from Brisbane to Perth for these allegations because they took place in Perth is I'm absolutely serious. insane. To be extradited and then also be charged on your initial arrest shows that they have significant level of evidence, in my opinion, that they want to prosecute this man and go ahead with this. In other words, this is not a conversation of cancellation. This is a conversation of prison time, jail time, mm. that Young Fully could definitely be seeking. Now, if we look specifically what the police say in regards to the violent acts, the prosecutors have also produced pictorial evidence of violent acts on the body. The prosecutor reportedly said, across her body is a history of violent acts. We say those photos and what is alleged is beyond the pale, beyond what could be considered to be a consensual act. It was so apparent on these women's bodies, what he was doing, that you simply Women? cannot sit here and say that that was consensual. That's how bad the what? images were. That's how bad they came across to the prosecutors. And again, prosecutors don't prosecute somebody unless they have a large amount of evidence, in their opinion, to prosecute this man, let alone extradi um, extraditing him. Now, of course, he has been allowed bail because some people, as we're discussing P. Diddy, was refused bail not once, but twice, and a pending appeal currently, and we're going to hear about that later in court today. But Young Philly has had a conditioned bail, and that is obviously supplying $100,000 to security, rescinding his passport, which to me is insane, so he's stranded and he can't try and escape or go anywhere else. And not only that, but he needs to attend to the police every single day, seven days of the week. Now, the video of him being arrested, I believe, was probably taken by fans or somebody. And of course, there are pictures of him which look like a mugshot of some sort um, or initial arrest mugshot or, you know, whatever you want to call it. His bail conditions are very tight. The bail condition can also let you know how this is going for somebody. For the fact that there's 100,000, for the fact that he's had to give up his passport, he's had to sacrifice, rescind his passport. He cannot leave where he is right now. I believe he is in Perth. He cannot get out of that. So, you know, there is a large amount of reasoning that this man is going to be put into jail. Now, my question is, is he going to be extradited again to the UK and face jail time in the UK? Or is he going to face jail time in Perth? And also, how many years could young Philip be getting? This isn't a scenario where he's been arrested for some kind of report and then let out and he's walking the streets and he's okay. This is a scenario where there are four charges, 
enough evidence by the prosecute side, so much that they're putting out statements. He's been extradited as well, and his condition bills are very, very tight. Oh, he going down. He going down under, okay? They, they about to get his ass. He might get some serious time, like several years. Because yet, yeah, Albert and Breach kept focusing on, oh, cancel, cancel. It's like, this man can be doing, like, some prison time. And it's like, nobody going to even need to cancel him because he going to be sitting in jail for a minute. And they said they have irrefutable evidence that he, he did this. Like, excuse me? So, yeah, this is really, really intense. And I, I think that also makes it shocking because initially I'm thinking like, yeah, um, I can see him doing something like this, but I'm thinking it's going to be more so hearsay, but they're like, nah, this is serious. We got this evidence. We, we about to, you know, prosecute him. So yeah, looks like he's going to get what he deserves. This is really fucked up. And they said women and it could be multiple that's, that's, that's some sick shit. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!